Zoe and Bo saw their environment from totally different perspectives. Bo was lean, confident, and agile. Zoe was chubby, insecure, and shy. As I monitored the area that day, Zoe was over by the water, and I looked and Bo was suspiciously quiet. Out of the corner of my eye, I watch him launch himself across the area with his hands out like this. He puts them firmly on Zoe's backside and pushes her into the water. Now, for those of you who have had the honor of raising toddlers, you know that moment of silence they take when they've been startled? What they're doing is a body scan. Am I really hurt or was I just startled? Zoe wasn't hurt. She was enraged. <laughs> she scrambles out of the pool, turns around, spots Bo, makes a beeline for him. They make three circuits through my lap. Bo, a confident five seconds in front of Zoe. Zoe, hysterical, shrieking and dripping. My lap went from dry to damp, to moist, to sodden. Does Zoe and Bo sound like typical toddlers? Does it change your perspective when I tell you they are two-year-old baboons at an animal sanctuary in South Africa? You may be wondering, how did you have an opportunity to meet these two? I am not a field biologist or a zoologist or a zookeeper. But I got the privilege of meeting Zoe and Bo on a volunteer vacation. You may have heard the terms volunteer vacation and volo tourism, and they're used interchangeably. There isn't a set definition. But basically what it means, you are going on a vacation with the intention of volunteering. And the percentage of time you spend volunteering and vacationing is totally up to you and your goals.